Hi guys, it's Miss Alisa here from Club Condenin. Today we're going to be making homemade bubbles. So the first thing you're going to do is find a flat surface like a table, the floor, anything flat, okay? And then next you're going to spread out some old newspaper that you have just laying around and you're going to put it all over the flat surface because just in case you spill, just, be, just in case we spill anything, um, the newspaper will be there to cover it. Okay, and now you're going to, to gather your materials and you're going to first get a clear container with a lid. Then you're going to get some liquid soap. Dawn works best, but try to find the one that doesn't say Ultra. Well, since I went to the store and I looked for it and I only found the one that says Ultra. So it's okay, like it still works, but it would be best um, without Ultra. If it didn't say Ultra. And then you're going to get some water, distilled water. And then you're going to get light corn syrup. And then you're going to get some measuring cups and measuring spoons. And then you get, uh, and then you're gonna get like a normal regular spoon. It doesn't matter. You can use the same one, but a spoon. And then you're gonna need a, need a straw. I forgot to get it, so I'll get it right now. So. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to get your measuring cups and you're going to look for the one that says one cup. So usually the one with measuring cups, the biggest one, it says one cup. Right here, one cup. So this is what you're going to use for the water. So you're going to measure six cups of water. So I just put it in here. I measured six cups and I put it in this bottle. So I can have it ready. So what you're going to do is you're going to pour the six cups into the container. And then after you pour the water into the container, then you're going to measure one cup of dish soap. So you're going to open your soap and then you're going to get your one cup. You're going to measure it. So that's about one cup. I don't know if you guys can see it. So then you're going to pour it into the water. And then you're going to get the spoon that you're going to use. Take out any leftover salt that's in the cup. And then once you have all the soap in the, the container, then you're going to start mixing the solution, the soap in water. So as you're mixing it, you're gonna mix it slowly. Try not to let any foam or bubbles create in the mixture. Like just mix it slowly until it's all mixed together. Next, so now that the mixture is mixed, it's just gonna look, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's all mixed good. Just as long as there's no foam or bubbles, that's fine so next what you're going to do close your soap so you don't spill it next you're going to add one fourth cups oh no 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 so since we're using using ultra dish soap we're going to be doubling the amount of corn syrup so the original um, measurement is one fourth but where since it's doubled, where it's going to be one half. So in your cups, you're going to look for one half. So this is one half. Let me see if you can see it. One half cup. And then you're going to get your corn syrup. And then you're going to open it. I haven't opened. Oh, it's open. 
and then you're going to get your half cup and then you're going to pour it careful because it makes a mess so that's your half cup then you're going to pour it into the solution close your corn syrup so you won't spill it And then you're going to get your spoon that you're using and you're going to empty out the leftover corn syrup. So now that it's empty, put it to the side. You're going to get your spoon and you're going to mix it. Mix it until everything is good. Make sure no foam or bubbles. So now that the solution is mixed, you can either get your straw or your bubble wand. And it's ready. If you guys want bigger and better bubbles, then you would get your lid. You're going to close your container. And then you're going to let your solution sit overnight. So, I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to go get a straw. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, I'm back with the straw. So what you're going to do, I don't have a bubble wand, so with the straw, you're going to get it. You're going to mix it, take it out, let it drip for a little bit, and there's your bubbles. It Sometimes it doesn't work, but you just have to keep trying. Mix your solution a little bit, just so it can get more soap. Take it out slowly, shake it a little bit, and there are your bubbles. So like I said, if you want to have bigger and stronger bubbles, let your solution sit overnight, and then you'll have bigger bubbles, okay? After you guys are finished making your bubble solution and trying it out, you're going to think, did the ingredients that we used and then the water if they were good ingredients to use for the solution like did they make a good solution and also if the measurements that we use like the amount of water the amount of corn syrup the amount of soap were they a good amount to make strong bubbles so i also want you guys to see how big of a bubble you guys can make with the solution that you made and if how many bubbles you can make in one breath. Let's see who can make like 10, 20, 30. And just count how many bubbles, you know? So yeah, that's the end of our lesson, guys. I hope you had fun making the bubbles, your homemade bubble solution. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next lesson we make. Bye!